Department, where we've had these uh, stories about U.S. attorneys uh, being fired by the Attorney General, uh, some of them because uh, apparently uh, some Republicans felt they weren't bringing enough, doing enough to file corruption charges against Democrats in their states. Senator Specter, uh, that has happened, and then on top of it, we got a report uh, last week that the FBI has been abusing its power under the new Patriot Act and has been uh, snooping on on people in ways that they they shouldn't be doing it, invading privacy. Uh, Do you think that the Attorney General, that it's time for him to uh, step aside here? Uh, New leadership should come there? I think that's a question for the President and the Attorney General, but I do think there have been uh, lots of problems. But before we come to conclusions, I think we need to know uh, we need to know more facts. I, I'm concerned about what happened in New Mexico. I'm concerned about uh, uh, That's what... where you had this U.S. attorney fired because uh, some there said that uh, he, he should have been uh, more diligent in filing corruption charges against some Democrats. Well, uh, that's right, and there were some telephone calls made, but we had analogous charges uh, by the U.S. attorney in Baltimore and now we find on further exploration that there were really good reasons for terminating the U.S. attorney in Baltimore. He had claimed that he was subject to political pressure, very much like the uh, statements made by the U.S. attorney in uh, in New Mexico. So I, I want to get at the facts. Uh, we had uh, him testify, and when he got these telephone calls, uh, he did not report them to the Justice Department, uh, although that was required by the regulations in a prompt complaint is very important on credibility, and he explained it by saying, well, uh, uh, the senator and the representative had been his mentors, and he didn't want to uh, uh, shed a bad light on him, but he later changed his mind when he thought they were responsible for his firing. I, I want to go over his reports. I, I want to know more well, detail as to as to how it seems he to me, functioned. Senator. It seems to me we already know a lot of details. Uh, Senator Schumer, uh, what do you think ought to be done about this situation? Well, Bob, you know the Justice Department is different than any other department. Uh, in every other department, the cabinet chief cabinet officer is supposed to follow the president's uh, orders, requests, without exception. But the Justice Department has a higher responsibility, rule of law, and the Constitution. And Attorney General Gonzalez in his department has been even more political than his predecessor, uh, Attorney General Ashcroft. Attorney General Gonzalez is a nice man, but he either doesn't accept or doesn't understand that he is no longer just the president's lawyer, but has a higher obligation to the rule of law and the Constitution even when the president should not want it to be so. And so this department has been so political that I think for the sake of the nation, Attorney General Gonzalez should step down. Attorney General Gonzalez should step down. Let me ask you about this, uh, Senator Schumer. We now uh, have this report from the FBI's, uh, or the Justice Department's own auditors, that the FBI has been abusing its new powers that it got under the uh, under the Patriot Act. I'm not sure what it is uh, that the that the FBI has done here. Uh, is this a serious charge? Explain to me uh, why we basically why we should care about this. Well, it is a serious charge. Not only in the Inspector General thinks it is, but the Director of the FBI, Bob Mueller, has said it's a very serious charge, and he's very upset about it. He said that privately in a call to me and then said it publicly. The national security letters are letters uh, which allow you to look at the phone records or email records of somebody who might be suspected of terrorism. And in the Patriot Act, the Justice Department came to us and said, look, we're going to need these in certain instances. Let's have, because we need to fight terrorism, let's have fewer checks. Congress went along. And now what the IG has found out is that there are virtually no, they even ignore those few checks that they agreed to put in place. Uh, For instance, they're supposed to report to Congress on the number of them. They didn't, and there are 20,000, far more than anyone imagined. Uh, They were supposed to, in certain cases, get warrants after they issued these letters. They didn't. So there are so many abuses here.
that Senator Leahy has said uh, the Judiciary Committee will hel hold hearings, but at the very minimum, the checks on these national security letters has to be greatly increased. This is serious stuff. Well, should this uh, power that the uh, uh, FBI was given under the Patriot Act, uh, Senator uh, Specter, do you think that Congress uh, might need to uh, roll that back, that perhaps it, b it should be con curtailed in some way? <clears throat> Bob, that's what I said on Friday immediately after the disclosures. There are uh, 47,000 of them involved, and we expanded the power uh, to go beyond uh, foreign agents to uh, national security generally, and it has been very badly abused. And the only reason it was checked was because when we uh, reauthorized the Patriot Act last year, we inserted the provision for the inspector generals to uh, report it. And uh, that has disclosed these problems. And I think that uh, uh, the hearings ought to go beyond uh, an analysis of the uh, failures to comply with the law, but very active consideration about withdrawing some of those powers. Uh, do you agree with that, Senator Schumer? I do agree with that, Bob. I mean, what we found in, in the Justice Department over and over again is a lack of respect for the rule of law, a lack of respect for balance of powers. There's a view that the executive should be almost without check. And that is so wrong. And that's uh, one of the reasons I think we need a change at the right. top in the let, Justice Department. Let me ask both of you a question.